All right, let's move on now. We're turning to the 2024 presidential race. It is on. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, now in the, now in the first GOP primary state of New Hampshire, the Granite State. Get used to saying that. And he's getting ready to make the leap. He's facing new strong attacks from the Trump campaign. News Nation Washington correspondent Kelly Meyer joins us now. She's live with the details. Kelly, is this race shaping up as we thought? Well, a lot of people anticipating a Trump DeSantis matchup here, and now it looks like they're going to get it. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, a source confirming to News Nation that he's expected to file his official paperwork next Wednesday, just as he is set to meet with top donors in Miami. DeSantis reportedly telling donors in a private call ahead of that meeting that Trump can't win. Today, Team Trump dropping a new ad hitting DeSantis for his tax plan, calling him a new nickname, Ron DeSales Tax. And Trump telling voters he's the only one that can beat Biden. But these two aren't the only two GOP hopefuls. The field just got a little bit more crowded. South Carolina Senator Tim Scott officially entering the 2024 chat. Uh, he filed his presidential paperwork today and is set to make his formal announcement from his hometown of North Charleston, South Carolina, on Monday. He's the second South Carolinian to actually enter the race, joining former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley in the field of GOP presidential hopefuls. Actually, I covered Senator Scott here in the Senate, and one of his former aides is now working for Haley's presidential campaign, not huh? Tim Scott's. And Mike uh, DeSantis also brought up his heated dispute with Disney today. He said there is, quote, zero chance he will back down from it. But it'll be interesting to see how voters respond because a lot of people like Disney. So we'll see what happens <laughs> yeah, there. To say, to say the least, a lot of people in Florida like Disney. Okay, Washington, D.C. Bureau's own Kelly Meyer. Thank you very much, Rena. Let's talk about it. Okay, we got two about, Palmetto State. Oh, yeah, in there. yeah. Uh. About Tim Scott. Well, I mean, I don't like the slow walk. I got to say, I don't like it. Because in April, he came out and told NBC News that I would be the most conservative pro life president. Yeah. And I thought that was a bad move because I think abortion's on the ballot in 2024. That's what I think's what's up. And I, I really think it's a bad look for Tim Scott to now say, okay, now I've explored it and now I'm in. Buddy, are you reading the tea leaves in any way, shape, or form? I think he's joining the pack along with Nikki Haley uh -huh. to say that he wants to be somebody's VP. Okay. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.